Hey, how's it going everyone? I have another new product to review today for you. This product was sent to me by the amazing people over at Caliper Timepieces. Huge thank you for sending me this out for a review. If you guys remember a few months back, I reviewed one of the Caliper Timepieces watches. But it was only a prototype. And thanks to all your amazing support on Kickstarter, they were able to fully fund their company and produce an actual work in mind. Now this particular one they sent me is their Caliper View C30. They have a few different varieties to pick from, from different color bands, mm -hmm. different design faceplates. Oh, popular ones is either you can get a mesh shield over the face, or you can get a fully clear see-through design, so that way you can see all the physical moving parts inside. Which I think is pretty awesome. Now let's take a look inside uh, this package and just see everything that this watch uh, has to offer and uh, how well it operates. First inside we've got a quick little uh, brochure telling you all about caliper timepieces as well as uh, how to uh, function with the watch. Some uh, key important steps. I'm not going to go through all of them. You can pause and read the video to see for yourself. But essentially for winding, while the caliper view is worn, your movements automatically wind the mainspring. So then when you uh, strap it, it on your wrist for the first time, wind the crown the clockwise 10 times to provide an initial charge. And now this initial charge should last uh, you for a few hours, or it'll keep it moving as long as your body's moving. But all I recommend is just a simple uh, flick of the wrist. You just have to gently pull the crown out and then turn the set to time. And then once the time is correct, obviously you would just uh, push the crown uh, right back into place. Now to adjust the band, you just have to place the watch on a flat surface. Using a small screwdriver that they provided, you can open the locking plate as shown. Slide the clasp to the desired position and then gently push the locking plate uh, back down to get your uh, desired length. So that way you don't have to spend the extra money to get it uh, professionally done. You can do it in the comfort of your now own. For their warranty, Caliper Timepieces is proud to offer a limited warranty against defects in workmanship and materials for a period of three years after original purchase, which is pretty outstanding because the most of watch companies generally offer you around the 12 to 18 months. So the fact that they're giving you uh, three years is uh, very good. If you have any other questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact them. You can contact them by email at info at calipertimepieces.com or check them out on their website at www.calipertimepieces.com. Next inside, we get an inspection and calibration card. Essentially what this is, is just a certificate of authenticity to let you know that the watch is real and everything's uh, fully functional. You also get the model number, which I have the C30. I just checked their website about two, three minutes ago, and I didn't see C30 on their website. That might be something that they're offering either down the line, or it's just not one of their sale watches. But I'll keep you informed as I get an update from that. So the serial number, it's a 429 out of 500. Calibrate it to plus two seconds by the day. And it's inspected by Michael Sandblom, and he inspected it on September 5th, 2016. Now, Caliper Timepieces Inc. has inspected and calibrated your timepiece and believes it to be in optimum working condition as of the date noted. If you're not completely satisfied, please contact us at info at calipertimepieces.com. We get a little uh, business card letting you know when your friends admire your new Caliper uh, view, you can tell them they may still be in luck. As of August 2016, we had 200 first edition watches left. They'll be available at calibertimepieces.com. Get them while they last. This is definitely something you don't want to miss out on if you want to be one of the first people to test out one of these amazing watches. Next inside, we get a little protective uh, cover. So when you're not uh, using the watch, you can place it inside the box and use this to cover it to avoid any possible scratches or any dust or debris getting on the watch and keep it in mint condition. Next inside we get the watch itself. You have this very nice stainless steel mesh band which creates a very nice accent to the watch. You see on the clasp we have the caliper branding right embossed. 
Now taking a look uh, closer at the watch, I'm really uh, loving this uh, detail. You can see literally almost every moving gear and part inside the watch, which is pretty outstanding to think that watches actually need all these moving parts uh, to function. You would think it's just a typical little uh, movement, but more higher end models such as this, with a uh, sweep in hands and the automatic uh, movement definitely require a lot more precision. You see like I mentioned you have all the gears all the way around. If you look at the uh, minute hand and the hour hand you see that they have this uh, white line in. This is to make it uh, available to glow in the dark so that way when you're out at night you can still see uh, your uh, time and you don't have to worry about if you're going to be running late or anything like that. Now I really like how even though this is a higher end watch, how you still have all of the interface with the numbers uh, 1 through 12 and the little dashes in between to indicate the minutes. Whereas uh, some other watches, they usually only have the four points, so the 12, 3, 6, and 9, or they just have one up at the top. This makes it very uh, simple and easy. If you take a look on the underside of the, the watch, You'll see a few quick specs. You'll see it's made out of a sapphire glass, which is one of the strongest materials you can get for watches. It's gonna protect it from the nicks and scratches a lot more significantly. It's made out of all stainless steel covering. And you also see it's a water resistant up to 10 ATM. I'm assuming the serial number 429 out of 500. I'm, I'm pretty sure that means that this is the 429th one made out of 500 units. That's incorrect. Uh, please uh, notify me down below. I want to make sure I get everything uh, correct. What I had to do is take uh, the plastic off. So satisfying. And then just go ahead and take the plastic off of the back. I really like how pristine and uh, shiny this is. So you can see all the fine uh, details of the inner workings of all the gears and screws and everything. Now what you go ahead and do to put the watch on, simply place the loose end underneath your wrist. Take the other end and then just slip it through the clasp and they clip down. Now what you go ahead and do is gently pull out the crown. Once you have that pulled, turn it 10 times. And then once you have that uh, all prepared, push in the crown again, and then you're all set to go. Then you'll see once you have everything all set and they're fully functional, you see the little gear pattern in the middle move and then you have the sweep in hand go all the way around. Now this essentially is only going to stop if you uh, stop moving your wrist completely, but even like the slightest gesture just like that real quick, that'll keep it uh, going. So 9 times out of 10, most likely uh, this will never stop. The only time it will stop is obviously when you take it off at night to go to bed. And that's my quick look at the Caliper Timepieces C30 View Stainless Steel Watch. Once again, a huge thank you to Caliper Timepieces for sending me stuff for a review. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link in the description down below. They currently retail for $340.63, which is a pretty amazing deal since they normally retail for $380 on their website. So you're saving about $40, which is definitely a great deal, especially for how stylish and unique this watch is. And I really love uh, the interface. Now, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos like this. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.